hey welcome friends uh, let's move ahead to the next uh, hive tutorial where we are going to see couple of more hive queries now let me give you some uh, uh, you know some idea about uh, what we have done uh, previously so here we have created one uh, database called as organization under which we have uh, one table so if I go and uh, use this database use it's a typo then it will show me the tables under it so as you see we have employee table in this particular uh, database so now if I do select star from employee then it is going to give me these four rows since I have inserted these four rows into this particular employee table now what I wanted to do is I wanted to extract only couple of rows from this particular table now let's say I wanted to extract only first two rows from this particular uh, table then the clause which we are going to use is limit clause so the uh, how to write that particular query is select star from employee till this it is pretty much same you just have to add limit and let's say how many rows you wanted to get from that table now let's say limit 2 so it will give me 2 rows right so as you are seeing here it has written the first 2 rows from the employee table so this is the limit clause cool now the next uh, query that we are going to see is uh, create table as so it is very much important uh, query as in uh, let's say we have some reference table now as in this uh, example let's say we have this employee table now what I wanted to do is I wanted to create one more table by referring to the schema of employee table for example let me describe this employee table here so let's say we have ID name city department salary and domain these are the five six columns six uh, columns we have in this employee table I wanted to create a table called as EMP with let's say only ID and name I just wanted to take these two columns from this employee table and create a new table from that okay so for that we are going to use create table as query correct so let's start by writing the query create table let's say EMP I'll name it as EMP as and you need to mention uh, whatever number of columns you wanted to have from the employee table so what we wanted to have we wanted to have ID let's say name and let's say city okay so create table employee as select ID name and city from employee so this is the query which will create this particular table so as you all know now that it is going to trigger a MapReduce job to perform these uh, you know operation that we have mentioned in our query so it has started this particular MapReduce job as you can see it has started the map stage it has started the reduce stage it has completed like since it is a starting of this particular job it is like 0% 0% here it is map is 100% reduces 0% and the complete job is done now okay let me just clear the screen for you now if I do show tables then it is going to give me this EMP table as well now if I describe EMP then it is only like three columns which we have written in our query where we have ID name and city so if I do select star from EMP then it will give me the same data but with whatever desired columns that we have asked for so this is pretty much interesting that we have the similar data with the different schema we can say okay so this is the demonstration of create table as a query 
let's move ahead to the next query of let's say I wanted to rename the table now show tables I have this EMP table I want to rename it to new EMP let's say so what I will do is it is the alter table query alter table EMP it is rename to clause new underscore EMP so alter table EMP name of the table that you want to rename and rename to is the name of the clause that will rename this table with this new name this is pretty much simple if I do show tables now then it will get renamed with new EMP table okay so and if you see the rest of the things like columns in it and everything is uh, still is it is going to be the same one so let me show you the data as well so it is still we have those four rows with ID name and city okay now uh, there is one more additional query to this uh, sections that uh, we are going to see it is regarding you know creating the new tables with uh, by referring to your existing tables that you have in your hive database okay now what i wanted to do is i wanted to create a table with same schema but i don't want the data from it now the create table as query that we have seen it has two things in it we we can refer the schema as well as well as the data as well it has imported the data as well from the employee table into emp table but i don't want this what i wanted to do is i wanted to refer the schema from employee table and create a new table but i don't want to import the data under it okay so for that we have like clones so for example create table let's say i will name it as updated emp like clause it is the clause which we are going to use so create table updated emp so this query will create this table like employee that means it will just refer the schema of employee table but it won't get the data from employee right okay if i do show tables now then we have this updated employee table if i do describe updated emp then we have the same schema but if i do select star from updated emp then it will not have any data because we have created this table just by referring the schema of employee table okay uh, so hope uh, i hope guys uh, you like this particular video if you have liked this particular video then like my video and uh, share this uh, video with your friends and uh, i will see you in the next uh, hive tutorial okay bye thank you